Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl The Queen here and I'm back with another quick tips video. Remember last week I showed you guys how to use PDF Shaper to extract images from your documents? Well, I've been getting a lot of comments and questions from persons asking me what is the best OCR to be able to convert these images that I have extracted into text. By the way, if you have not seen that video yet in which I teach you how to extract images from PDF, you can go and check it out. A link will be down below in the description. In this video, I will go through three methods in which you can use to convert your images into text. One method is not free while the other two methods are free. All these three methods are accessible. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like the video if you love the content and share it to others. Also subscribe if you're new and note that the instrumentals for this video have been provided by Inner Sanctum Entertainment LTD. Now let's get right into it. I'll be sharing these three methods with you from the most accurate to the least accurate. Method 1 using ABBYY Fine Reader. So ABBYY Fine Reader is an OCR software, and I mean fine as in F-I-N-E. It is used to convert scanned documents, PDFs, or images into searchable and editable documents. It can easily recognize the text in these documents, and you can convert these documents into the format of your choice, such as Word, Excel, and a searchable PDF. It is available for both Mac and Windows and for us screen reader users it is very accessible. Unfortunately though this OCR is not free but I believe that it is a great investment as it is very accurate. I have seen where it has kept the alignment and indentation of text when converting images. It converts tables as well but as good as this software is it is not always 100% accurate but it is not far from it. So I think that this is a good investment and they also offer a 7 day free trial. But if you can't afford this option, I have two other free alternatives for you. And these alternatives do not require you to download any software. Method 2 Image to PDF to Word Now, for these other two methods, what I'm going to be using is a screenshot of an actual Word document that I took. But just so I can prove to you the accuracy of these other two methods, let me first open the Word document and show some things to you. Choosing the right pet So here I have a Word document titled, Choosing the right pet. Now, let me choose the heading and read the formatting. Style normal Calibri 11 PT default color align center line spacing 1.1 lines. So you heard there that the heading is centered. Now let me move down to the first line and read the formatting. Blank. When choosing a pet. Style normal Calibri 11 PT default color align left first line indent 0.5 inches line spacing 1.1 lines. Alright, so you heard that the first line of this paragraph is indented and there's also a blank space between the title and the paragraph. Now, let me read this paragraph that I have here. When choosing a pet, there are certain characteristics that you have to look out for. This can include physical aspects such as their color, if they are cute or not and specific aspects such as spots or stripes. But before we even get there, you first need to determine what type of pet you want. Then you can then determine the breed, then physical aspects and so on. Okay, so that is it. Remember to keep in mind that the heading is centered, there's a blank space between the heading and the paragraph, and the first line of the paragraph is indented. Now let's get into the second method. What we'll be doing is first converting the image into a PDF and then into a Word document. To do that, first you need to navigate to the image that you want to convert. In my case, my image is a screenshot of that document that I just read. Items view list. Max row one column. Okay, so the name of my image is Max. Once you're on your image, press your applications key or shift plus F10 for those who don't have one. Context menu. Then down arrow to print and press enter. Open, create, edit, edit, set as, edit, print key. Images window, print pictures. Printer colon, combo box fax collapsed alt plus R. Or another way you could have done this is by opening the image and then pressing Ctrl plus P. Now when this dialog opens you will be placed on this combo box. The selection that you should be on is Microsoft Print to PDF. Now if you're not on that selection you can use either your up or your down arrow to change the options within this combo box. So let me use my up arrow here. Microsoft Print to PDF. Then once you have found this option tap until you get to print and press enter. Paper size colon, quality colon, help button, templates list, copies of each picture colon, fit picture to frame check box check, options. Print button navigates to the next page alt plus P. Unavailable. Cancel button exits the wizard. 
Save print output as dialog. File name colon, combo box collapsed. Edit alt plus and blank. Now it will open a regular save as dialog. Navigate to where you want to save your document, type in the name to what you want to save it as, and save it. T E S T space T E X T. Dialog. Images window. Items view list. Max row 1 column 1 1 of 3. Now navigate to the PDF document that you just saved. Test text row 1 column 2 2 of 3. Once you are on it, press your applications key or shift plus F10 for those who don't have one, then down arrow to open with and press enter. Context menu, open O, share with Skype, skin with Microsoft, defend, edit with, compare with, share, Norton, open with sub menu H, Adobe Acrobat Reader DCA. Now down arrow to Word and press enter. Google Chrome, Microsoft, Word W, images window. Microsoft Word Dialog Word will now convert your PDF to an editable Word document. This may take a while. The resulting Word document will be optimized to allow you to edit the text, so it might not look exactly like the original PDF, especially if the original file contained lots of graphics. OK button. When this dialog comes up, press Enter. Test text dash Word. Microsoft Word document edit multi-line table with one rows and two columns level one row one column one page one section one. Now you realize that it converts my screenshot into a table. This is because it recognizes the different sections on my screen, such as the toolbar of Microsoft Word and the taskbar running along the bottom of my screen. This may not happen to you, it all depends on what you have inside the image that you want to convert. But in a case where this happens to you, there are two ways in which you can get access to the text. You can either go up into the menu by pressing alt and then right arrow over to the table layout option which is about the second option after the help option then tab until you get to convert to text and press enter then once you're in that dialog you'll tap to ok and press enter and then the table will be removed and you will have the text or in my case I have here a table with two columns. Because I've done this before, I know that my text is actually in column two. So what I'm gonna do is to delete column one. So I'm currently in column one. I'm gonna press my applications key. Cut unavailable, remove the selection and put. Then I'm gonna down arrow to delete cells and press enter. Copy, smart, synonyms, translate, insert, delete cells. D delete cells dial. Then I'm gonna down arrow to entire column and press enter. Shift cells, delete entire, delete entire column radio button checked alt plus, test text dash word. Microsoft Word document edit multi-line table with one rows and one columns level one row one column one page one section one choosing the right pet. And there we go, now we can see the text that we actually want. Now let's check the accuracy of this method. First let's check if the title is centered. Style table grid Calibri 11 PT black align center right indent 0.857 inches line spacing 1.1 lines. Alright, so we see that this method converts with alignment because my heading is centered. Now let's check if there's a blank space and if the first line is indented. When choosing a pet, style table grid Calibri 11 PT black align left left indent 0.47 inches line spacing 1.1 lines. Okay, so it omits the blank line between the title and the paragraph and also it indents the first line of the paragraph but the indentation is off by about 0.03 inches. Now, let's read the paragraph to see how well it recognizes the text. When choosing a pet, there are certain characteristics that you have to look out for. This can include physical aspects such as their color if they are cute or not and specific aspects such as graphic spots or stripes. But before we even get there, you first need to determine what type of pet you want. Then you can then determine the breed, then physical aspects and so on. So we see that it chopped off the I and C off of include and it also added the word graphic between as and I think it was spots. I don't know why it did that though. But other than that and the fact that it omitted the space between the title and the paragraph, I believe that this method has a good amount of accuracy. Before we go on to the next method, I also want to note that I tried converting a screenshot with a table using this method. It actually converted the table and it had the right amount of rows and the right amount of columns as well as the column headers but everything in the table under the column headers some of the information was there but some of the information was also missing but overall i think that this is a good method to use if you want something free method three using the nvda ocr now for this method we're gonna try to recognize the text in the image using the ocr that nvda has note that if you try opening the image in photos and try using this method it will not work 
First, navigate to the image that you want to convert. Images row 1, max row 1 column 1 1 of 3. Then, press your applications key or shift plus F10 for those who don't have one. Context menu. Then, down arrow to open with and press enter. Open O, create a new video, edit with, set as, edit E, print P, share with, rotate, rotate left, cast, skin with, compare with, share. Norton C, open with sub menu H. Paint P. Then, press enter on paint. Images window. I, max dash paint window. Using brush tool on canvas. Now that we have the image opened in paint, we're going to use NVDA's keystroke, which allows you to recognize text using their OCR. But you have to have whatever the text is on in focus. That keystroke is your NVDA key plus your R as in Wrath. In my case, my NVDA key is my insert. So let me press insert plus R. Recognizing. Result document. And there we go. Now let's down arrow and see what results we got. Dash word, file, home, insert, calibre, reference, mail, review, view, doc, tell, x, copy, paste. Notice that this method actually recognizes the text in the menu as well. But let me continue to down arrow until I get to the actual text of my document. Choosing the right pet. Okay, so here it is. Let me read it all so you can hear it. Choosing the right pet. When choosing a pet, there are certain characteristics that you have to look out for. This can lead physical aspects such as their color if they are cute or not in specific aspects such as spots or stripes. But before we even get there, you first need to determine what type of pet you want. Then you can then determine the breed, then physical aspects and so on. So you see that this method actually chops off the INC off of the include as well. And it also omits the blank line between the title and the paragraph. This method also does not convert with alignment and indentation. All this method is doing is recognizing the text and nothing else. So that means when I tried reading an image with a table in it, it actually gave me the text that was in the table, but it did not actually give me in the table itself. So the data from from the cells in the table was displayed to me line by line just like how it would be displayed to you in a pdf another drawback with this method is that if the image that you have is very long it might chop off some of the text in the image a way that you can fix this is by going into menu by using your alt key once you're selected on the home tab tab until you get to resize and then tab through that dialog and change the percentage from 100 you can downsize it a little bit from about 80 to about 75 but don't downsize it too much because the lower you put the percentage the harder it will be for the OCR to recognize the text in the image but other than that this is a good method to be able to convert your images into text and you can just copy the converted text out of this window and paste it into a word document but that is it for the three methods for converting images into text if you can't afford a BBYY fine reader and you want as much accuracy as possible for converting your images, I would recommend using a combination of method 2 and method 3. But that is it for this video guys, hopefully this video has been helpful to you. Be sure to like the video if you found it helpful, share it with others and subscribe if you're new. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.